Hello, my computer duders. It's that time again, mother truckers. I've got, um... not going to say great games. I've got games uh, for you tonight. I'm apprehensive. This looks like it could be good. And again, I've said that before, haven't I? Well, this store isn't at all what I pictured. Really, that's what happens? I curse you! Nah, I'm a gypsy woman and I curse you! I'm sorry, Roma, Roma community birthing person. Fuck, am I cancelled? Oh, it's got voice acting, fancy schmancy. That means the de dev knew at least one woman. Oh, weeping angels. I never liked mannequins as a horror trope. I mean, I liked them, but they actually do legit get under my skin. Speaking of which, I saw Under the Skin recently. The 2013 film. How have I been sleeping on that for so long? It's got fucking Scarlett Johansson's ass and titties and everything. It's glorious. Also, I guess it's about aliens or something. I wasn't paying attention. It's the first film she's been fully nude in, and it's it's the stuff that dreams are made of. But yeah, no, for real. It, it's um, it's a good film. It's a spooky film in parts. It's got really good a atmosphere. But it it's completely fucking different from the book. I want to say uh, this is a rare instance where that's a good thing because the book is really uh, weird. It has a lot of weird plot stuff that's not really relevant, not relevant, and wouldn't translate well to the to film anyway. But at the same time, on principle, it's a, it's completely fucking different. Only a couple of plot points are in common. Like, for example, the aliens are quadrupedal in the book. And uh, they eat humans for food, whereas in the film they use them for skins. Which is wicked, by the way. I mean, it's kind of like Terminator with aliens. But, um... You see this guy's like guts get sucked out and his skin get harvested. And it's a lot of the film is just her cruising around pretending to be a prostitute, picking up dudes, lonely dudes, until she starts to go native and empathize too much with uh, her prey. It's that basic plot. Could you not? Yo, I need to. I need to get back there. Are they ever going to get up close to, in, to me and crack my neck? Usually they break your neck, because I, I think uh, people who use mannequins as horror monsters can't agree on what the mannequin actually does to you when it reaches you. So the idea is it's like a, the SCP, um, where it, it's just monstrously strong. 
Which doesn't really check out for mannequins because they're made of plastic. Stay out. Get out, Bart, and piss. Mannequins don't know this one weird trick. Mannequins hate him. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. That's the only way to go, too. Oh, the, the sounds of them moving around slightly. Oh, sanity effects for like two seconds. C fucking commit to the bit, will you? Oh no, the li meme Reddit back rooms. Oh no, the, ba the back rooms. Am I going to meet Freddy Fazbear? Am I going to, uh... Find the Le Garten of Ban Ban? Am I going to find uh, Amanda the Explorer? No. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Not in the back rooms. This had a stronger hook before it copied the back rooms. Well, if you're gonna come sodomize me, fucking get it over with, coward. Why are you running away from pleasure? Oh shit, it's not even pretending anymore. I'm losing my mind. And then they did a choreographed get dance. They did the thriller dance. Cause it's the thriller! Thriller night! We're all mannequins we're gonna give you a hecking fright. Okay, we gotta find our dog, but we can't make too much noise in this one because the monster will come and do unpleasant things to our butthole as opposed to the pleasant things. Godot has my attention lately. It seems to be increasingly influential and as powerful as Unity. But uh, unlike Unity, it's it doesn't take a huge cut of your profits if you sell <coughs> your game. Which might change if more people start using it. Cause it's a thriller! With the burb. Oh, well, already... We already got a Superman. I died. Well, that was... <laughs> That's a, a negative speedrun. Speedrunning death. 
Jason. Jason. Press press X to Jason. Mario. This is uh, unplayable. This needs to be. Oh, you can make noise. No, I fucking quit. This is impossible. The monster immediately finds you every time. It's not a big deal. It just needs some playtesting. I didn't see anything technically out of whack. This needed to be tweaked from a gameplay standpoint. You gonna... You gonna... Hmm. That's the best you can do, huh? Well, that sucks. Can't do a uh, full resolution. Alright, remember the mission. Investigate the emergency signal and find out what happened here. <laughs> it's, a, it's like Elmer Fudd is my boss. This is not well optimized. Could you stop doing the fucking Kill Bill? Oh, it's more like the Inception sound. Who in the bloody hell? Cringe writing already. I like the idea of having a little device in your hand that you can read text logs with. That's more elegant than having a menu open every time you do it. Is this is this emojis? Is this fucking emojis? Is that what I'm playing right now? Have I gotten tricked into 3D emojis once again for like the fourth time this month? Like when I played that VR chat map, I was like, I asked specifically, is this emojis? And they lied to me. Haha, <laughs> the funny meme game that you cannot escape. Hell is just non stop emojis, I think. Emojis. <laughs> Fucking, what do I do now? How long is that, by the way? Seconds, minutes, hours. Is that 12 hours? What does 96663 mean then? I don't see. Is that the number of hours? That's quite a long time. I don't seem to have access to any other... What if I go back where I came from? I don't know what to do. 
This looks like a fucking supermarket scanner. I think that's what this is. I don't. I don't think this. Uh, I think this was from an asset pack that came from a grocery store. There's a submarine horror game I wanted to play tonight. There was a really cool looking one. There's a, like Sinking Iron, I believe is called. It was just like a more elaborate iron lung. But a lot of these games, they, they're hosted on sites that don't work with itch.io platform. And it really... It hurts me spiritually. Fucking sucks. Doesn't even have 21 by 9 or aspect ratio. Let me show you what I mean. Some of the most tempting games just don't work with itch.io. Not the... I mean the desktop app. Uh... Soul Devourer. Maybe this one. This one works. I can I can play that. Uh this one work? This one is one that doesn't work. The, someone needs to send out the memo. Sinking Iron is the one I was looking at. Look at how cool this looks. Look at how fucking neato. But it will forever be locked off from us because who are, I can't uh, get the download to work. Oh well. What about what about playing something that we've neglected to play on Steam for a long time? I've never played Call of Cthulhu. I've heard middling things. I've heard this is a remake. It's not as good. Hang on. It's Unreal Engine, so it's going to flash my personal data. can't show you the game. I, I can't do anything about it. It's just not cooperating. Something is loading in the background, so I can't alt-tab to it. Maybe if I control, delete, and restart it. Fuck, why can't I be a PS5 streamer? And I've got a second. Oh, there we go. Never mind. So this is H.P. Lovecraft's great story, story, or that's the basis of it, about how people from New England are not human. Which I mean, it's hard to dispute. That's correct, that's correct. Why is my taskbar visible? There we go. That was weird. From the mind of the the guy with the cat with the meme name that no one's allowed to say on stream. Yeah, they remade this a couple times, didn't they? I remember playing the original one and thinking it was pretty good. I think Dark Corners of the Earth. When do when is my turn as an author to have all these fucking games? Not only one game made based on my writing, but like eleven. And also, why this story? Just because of the the pulp, pop culture icon status of Cthulhu? Or just because of Reddit? Or I, I think, oftentimes, the stories that get the most attention from him um, are just um, the most approachable. Because a lot of his writing is good, but not really approachable to a general audience. You have to really like Lovecraft...
God's mercy, the God's pity, the man is killing us is the hideous end. <coughs> no seafood! No seafood! No! Oh, it's not fresh! I know, they're Shadow Over Innsmouth adaptations. Although this is uh, based on another story he wrote. I forget the name of it. I want to say Dagon is the story he wrote where the guy wakes up and he's on a section of the seafloor that has somehow risen out of the sea and there's a bunch of dead sea creatures rot rotting in the, the, the mud in the hot sun. Good graphics. Look at him graphics! And look at that performance. Wow. What's the price you pay? When did this come out? Like 2013? Came out in 2018. This is relatively recent. That explains it. I'm pushing my luck here with my fucking 2015 PC. This feels weird. The, the field of view. Motion blur off, please. Thank you. Everything epic. Vertical sync off. My monitor does that for me. Camera FOV, there we go. That's better. That feels less sickening. Oh, I'm a sneaky man. Sneaky, sneaky. Let me out! I need to turn up the sensitivity. Sorry. It's like being downloaded into a new body every time you uh, play a new game. You have to adjust everything you're liking. That's much better. It's a weird visual effect. It's like overlaid onto the screen instead of being in the, in the environment. It doesn't it look like... Is it supposed to be fog? It doesn't look like fog. If that's post-processing, I could probably turn it off. No game audio. Thank you. That's usually... Usually if I forget something, and I always do, that's what I forget. You don't want to miss this uh, miss this either. It has really good ambient audio. What did you guys think of Amnesia the Bunker, by the way? I'm still processing it. I'm still digesting those victuals. I thought it was uh, mechanically very competent and uh, more refined than ever version of the frictional gameplay formula, but I, I thought the snippet of gameplay they gave us uh, as the demo was really boring. I was kind of bored to tears for most of it. I hope that was that's not representative. I hope there's still time for them to spice things up. Not that I need a, a Superman popping out at me every ten seconds. I want to be chased by something at least once. Here, here's what you do. Listen to me, Nettis. Listen closely. Amnesia is not the goat um, frictional game series. It's Penumbra. I didn't like Amnesia The Dark Descent that much either. It grew on me. It wasn't as good as Penumbra, though. Give Penumbra a chance. On my recommendation, if you trust my taste in games. That's what everybody... That's what got me into Frictional. I remember playing Penumbra Overture and Black Plague back-to-back -back over, over the span of one whole night. 
sundown to sunrise one October in like 2012, 2013, and it changed my life. It got me into writing horror. Why is this green? Is this a fuck? Is this full of vape juice? Is this like cool lime skittles vape juice? Can I, can I smell it? That might be nice. Overture, it starts... I talked Zulu into it. Ask Zulu how good it is. Overture is not the best one, but it's it's a good and necessary introduction. Uh, Black Plague is widely regarded as the best number game and the best frictional game in general but uh, you gotta play you gotta play them in order I also I personally like Requiem Requiem came out around this, the time of portal and and uh, the idea was that frictional wanted to test their chops at, at making really elaborate puzzles because frictional games are famous for having really cool elaborate puzzles so like why don't we make a, a game that's all puzzles like, oops, all crunch berries, but the frictional edition. Oops, all puzzles. And I loved it. I loved their puzzles. Everyone else was like, where the fuck is the monster? I want a Spooperman to chase me. Like, the Spooperman is like this big buff dude in a Speedo, and you're, he's chasing you on a beach, and you're like, hee hee, oh, chase me. Oh, chase me. Oh, now I've fallen down, and my swimsuit fell down and back a little bit, and you can see my, my tender pink butt cheeks. Oh no, you big brute! I bet you're gonna have your way with me. Wait, never mind. I don't know what, where that where that's going. Anyway, um, Requiem is just more of the same puzzles and environmental stuff and lore, which if you are, it, it's not really a penumbra game in itself. It's more like an addendum or like a, a companion piece for people who really appreciate. Frictional's design sensibilities. I still recommend it. Almost no one else I know does, so just keep that in mind. It's not as strong a rec recommend as uh, Overture and Black Plague. Overture is, is really cool and interesting. What's cool and interesting about it is it makes you... It doesn't completely take away your ability to fight in the first one, but you're, you fight really ineffectually. Because it's, it's about realism. You're really easily injured. You're easily exhausted. Uh, you can you can attack somewhat, but not very well. So even little things that would in real life be a danger to you are a danger to you in the game. Like one of the scary early enemies is just a fucking wolf. But I've never been as afraid of any other horror monster as I was of that fucking wolf. And it... it, it it was like a reality check. It's like, yeah, okay, in a, most video games, a wolf is a low-level enemy. In real life, if you're stranded uh, in, the, in fucking Greenland, then a wolf can kill you very easily. You're not hot shit anymore. You're not at the top of the food chain. A fall can fucking cripple you. Yeah, some of the stuff that doesn't get as much love is when he talked about different dimensions. I think... Uh, I forget which one that was in. Was that Dream of the Witch House? Where he encounters extra-dimensional entities and they're just like unfathomable collections of shapes. You can't snip it from this side. snippity snab. He was really imaginative and really on the cutting edge of, of mathematics when he was talking about how dimensions work. Because that was like 1922. Not a lot of people knew about that shit. So far, so good. I'm liking this, um... I gave up on Canarium. I always feel bad about that. I should go back to that, but I needed a guide heavily in the last half of the game. Canarium is brilliant world building and mood for like the first 50% of the game, and then it gets 
really esoteric and confusing. Which I really regret. I regret not sticking with it longer. I should I should I should finish it one day, but I was tell myself um what I got to do is look up look up a guide ahead of time so I don't waste the viewer's time if it, by doing that while I'm streaming. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Idris Elba, is that you? I tried one bullet. Why didn't you just. Uh, why don't you just mag dump? It was only a dream. Oh, spoopy, spoopy dream. I hate whiskey. Now we're in Rapture, apparently. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. I'm a private eye. PIA, Penis and Ass, Investigation Agency. And uh, Dr. Kim will repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I don't know if I stop, memories will turn for the treatment. With ancient deaths, what nameless creatures call me. Isn't that a bit on the nose, considering you have no idea of anything about creatures or anything at this point? Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in a species. Case solved. Huh. Married Damn, woman I'm runs good. off with her girlfriend. Husband couldn't understand it. What? What is a lesbian? This is the 1920s. I've never heard of such a thing. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. I used to be an avid reader. Until I took an arrow to the knee. Ah, shoot me, fucking end of my life. It's been too long since I've slept. That's not the bro life, dude. You, drinking and sleeping on the couch. I is... wonder why I still take these things. We got our uh, plasma, or I mean vigors. This could be Bioshock after all. Lovecraftian Bioshock, there's a concept. Actually, I'm going to subject you, because you're my captive audience, to my uh, Bioshock idea. It's based on vampirism. All the powers are just vampire powers that get better as you upgrade and drink more blood. And it takes place within Nocturne, a subterranean city of vampires beneath London. And the enemies use light-based weapons against you. And some of your enemies are humans and some are other vampires. And, and I know it's lazy, but I don't think it's been done to my satisfaction. Uh, the, the, one of the main themes would just be vampirism as an allegory for hard substance abuse, given its relevance currently with the op opioid epidemic. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Edward Pierce? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. Hello, Mr. Pierce. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect personal information yet again. Oh. Really? This is RPG elements.
There we go. What if I do all eloquence? On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? That's yeah. impressive. I didn't expect it to be this sophisticated. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? I love her accent. What is that accent called? That makes me fucking diamonds, whatever that accent is. I'm coming. It's the same accent as Kyle's mom from South Park. Interesting. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? Beat the shit out of him. Me. It means you. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her. How convenient. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who was always find out the truth they say she was mad but i know that's a lie she would never have done such a thing but if you have no proof i've brought all that i have look i want you to look carefully at this painting tell me all the assumptions that come to mind Edgy what am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at the picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. What is this, UE4? What engine is this? Hold on. Unreal Engine 5, actually. Or, I guess, depending on which version of the game you have. Really, really, really. I don't play that many newer games that often, so I'm always kind of impressed by the, what my machine is capable of. A warehouse on Darkware. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. I think my Very graphics thin. card is wasted on me. Like I said, nine times out of ten I'm playing some shit with like 8-bit Atari graphics. Very few games I ever play look that good enough that I actually get any benefit from having a modern GPU. People tell me that all the time. They tell me like, "Oh, my ten, my ten fifty T T I uh, crapped out, so I bought another ten fifty T I." Like, there's very little reason to upgrade lately, because we the bottleneck is no longer uh, like graphics power. It's the time and money that can be that can go into uh, the devs making graphics prettier. That's gonna change though, because of AI. AI is going to break through that barrier and enable hu fewer human designers to push the limits of graphical fidelity without having to increase the budget of the game. Which means I think that's where we're going to get the next big uh, leaps in uh, 
how to put this? You're gonna, you're gonna need new graphics cards again, at some point. It's not gonna be due to gimmicks like ray tracing. It's gonna be due to AI facilitating uh, just better graphics with less work. I don't think AI is gonna be developing whole games for a while, but I did predict that. I think it, what, what's gonna happen is that. It's going to be used to generate assets and, and settings and humans go in and clean up after it. Speaking of predictions, uh, I predicted that ChatGPT could be used as the general AI for a robot. Because if it can do a text adventure, then it can react to its environment. And it can make decisions on what to do based on objects and its surroundings. So if you have one AI, the purpose of which is to take in sensory data from microphones and accelerometers and cameras and then feed that information as a as a prompt to chat GPT it can react and then you have that same initial AI this symbol on the man's chest. it's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it so mr. Pierce what do you make of these elements The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. What? Shut up, old man! An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of Promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to dark water and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Well, fuck you too. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Something's gamer word. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some. I used to be an avid reader. Oops, I cut off the, the thing. Is, is this the book? Oh, did that upgrade my, uh, yes it did. That's how you do it? You, you find shit, apparently? Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. EXP is not based on actions, it's based on finding objects, apparently. Is that Dark it? water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Shunned? You could shun an island? All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Pretty good so far. Very polished. 
How, what did this cost when it was new? I remember getting this on sale for a steal. This was a pittance when I got it. I feel a little bit guilty. Like I should have paid more. Excuse me? Netus, your skills upgrade with CP? That can't be legal. I'm going to assume that means Cthulhu points. Otherwise, it's a very bold and daring design choice. Short talk, you got to get your uh, brother to, to get a vault. we got to induct more people into the vault cult. Vault cult. Vault cult. Vault cult. Vault cult. Vault cult. He seems like the kind of guy who'd be a tough sell, though. That that scream you heard in the background, that's the call of Cthulhu from the title. He's calling to us. Yeah! If he's... Not dumb, he'll listen to you. That's not trivial savings. What's his budget? Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Giggity. Unload their semen. <laughs> semen. <laughs> Get it? Welcome to Dark Water Island. Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Victor. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins <coughs> may have been a landlubber, but he was a good <coughs> And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. Uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. His bar. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. This is really richly realized. What, what were the reviews like for this? Hold on. 7 out of 10 on Steam, really? This is a 7 out of 10? I'm impressed so far. Then again, I usually play fucking shit games from Itch.io. So my standards are not that high. Is this the stand-in for Innsmouth?
Yeah, that's right, bitch. Oh, we got waifu material already. Waifu bait. Appears. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Yet you serve this man. And you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. Mainland manner. My manner. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we'll see. What can you tell me about? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Torture. Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Yes, that's a good point. I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? So it's a lady. It's a woman with breasts. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pit meal. You want a drink? You bet your I ass. Say no to a glass. Try this. <coughs> I'm gonna get date raped, huh? I think we'll get along well. This will affect your destiny. No, what? Dude, well, it was just because I drank? That'll be all for now. This will affect your destiny. What do you mean? What do you mean this will affect my destiny? What do you mean? He's freezing. Can't wait to build my new computer. 
not have to deal with this shit anymore. Pretty lady. What you looking at, stranger? Titties. The clientele is predominantly men. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Beat it! Beat it! <coughs> beat it into your hand and then eat it! That's not how it goes. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. In the whaling. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. One of the miraculous cats. Exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know. This kicks ass. Tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Huh. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. Gross. I bid you farewell, Jim. Good night, stranger. So long. This is an RPG. I understand now. This is sort of like a... It's not really open world, so you couldn't call this, like, Skyrim. It's the first person RPG set in the Lovecraftian universe. And it's, it's got the... It's so... It's, a. Uh, the more you learn about Howard's um, personality and his quirks, as a pretty obvious autistic man, the more charming and funny the d design choices in his stories become, ex except for the racism. The stuff like how he's... Incredibly fucking spooked by ocean stuff because he, he hated seafood. It all just came from him living in New England and being around the ocean. Or, or like ports. And uh, it's funny because New England is famous for clam chowder. But he did, H, Howard just got violently ill whenever he even smelled seafood. It's just icky, icky. Uh, he, he's a picky eater. He just didn't like it. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Why are you saying this out loud? Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No, the risks are too high. It's a book after all. Pure knowledge. Weird. You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. Yeah, no, he. It wasn't just about race. Everybody focuses on it because it's so taboo now. He was just a. Afraid and disgusted of difference and, and non-sameness. I'm a little bit like that with food. I know a lot of autistic people. You know, like, old Lilia only eats cheese pizza because of the texture and the, the... He wants um to eat something homogenous where there's no surprises. Like, it would it would horrify Ola Lilia or would have in his younger years uh, if he bit into something and there was, like, a hard piece in there. Anything unknown... He wants to be able to trust food. 
And uh, that, that sort of phobia of surprise, of unexpectedness, extends into a lot of different areas of life and, and encompasses a desire to be uh, ensconced protectively, like chrysalism. And like a fort and away from, and insulated from the world and and um, to be able to rely on everything being predictable. I feel as if I understand him by extension by understanding myself. I think knowing more about him really helps you appreciate his literature. He was just a fearful man, and fearful men write good horror. Because they can take things that the rest of us don't fear and make them scary again. Like the fucking wolf in Penumbra. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done... Come join me on the deck. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Hmm. Mystery. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get. Hawkins. I remember seeing how in like 2008-9 when every Christian suddenly became aware of, of of Richard Dawkins but they kept getting him confused with uh, Richard uh, Stephen Hawking which apparently I just did too. So they would call they would say like Stephen Dawkins and Richard Hawkins like the, <laughs> it, was, it was really cute they couldn't keep the two straight Fishing Dawkins and Hawking were just too similar for their brain. I remember reading a lot of angry posts and huffy, huffy forum messages about that fucking Richard Hawking's guy. Who does he think he is? Yeah, let me just steal your books. Let me just fucking rob you. That's what a good guest does. Explain it in. That was my favorite one. Second favorite one. My, my first favorite was when Bill O'Reilly asked uh, how anyone can explain the tides coming in and out. When really he was trying to ask about the apparent regularity of the universe that things seem to move on a schedule. But the, the banana was a close second. Those were, those were good times if you liked lols on the internet. This man fits well. It could be twins. Unless he's immortal. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Shadow over Innsmouth was really just H.P. Lovecraft's story about... About sort of leering at people ethnically almost identical to him and wondering, is that a human being? They're slightly different from me. Are they actually fish people? What a macabre souvenir. Macabre? You mean macabre? Is that the word you meant to say? Macabre. This is actually. I don't. Look, I didn't. This know place seems half abandoned. What to expect? I didn't. I usually go into these with, with, without high hopes. I don't want to get disappointed. Um, so far, I'm really liking this. I don't understand why I get 7 out of 10. Maybe gamers were expecting something more like action-focused? Or they're expecting to be spooked all the time? I get it. I get what the dev was going for. It's not like a boogity boogity boo game. It's an atmospheric RPG. And I'm, I'm totally there for that. I'll show up for that every day of the week. 
Who the fuck is Bradley? Oh, it's got a lean button. Let the police do their work. Hey, the same goes for you, sir. Move along. Oh, here he is. They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> They're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. But not always. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're yes. not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. Nobody understands our fishy wisdom as fishermen. Ain't you heard on TV? Trust the Gortons fishermen. Trust the Gortons fishermen. To look at and touch your naked body. He's not really a doctor, but he's a ship captain, which is kind of similar. We're a, we a couple of 1920s street toughs. Interesting. How, I wonder how long those conversations go on for. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Where was the newspaper? I was here. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Rush the docks, wheeling ship. Mr. Marks, okay, all right, okay, okay. This is like kind of like L.A. Noir, but Lovecraft. I'm really fucking here for this. I'm I'm glad I chose to play this tonight. This is so far impressing the pants off me. This is the kind of shit I want to play. I want to play more stuff based on books I love, and I want to play it on my nice PC with my Steam controller. Everything works really well. I can scroll through text with this with the touchpad. I guess this is why people buy new games and don't just just play free um, itchio shit, huh? Maybe I should learn something from that. But I'm not gonna. That's one of the great things about me. I don't learn from my mistakes, which makes my life more adventurous. I also don't pay too close attention to what I put into my body, which also makes life uh, more interesting in different ways, especially for my doctor.
Yeah, mm, fucking fuck my shit up with them seed oils, fam. Pump that shit into me like it's a plasmid. <laughs> what? <laughs> what if that was? There was like an American Bioshock where all the plasmids are just unhealthy shit we eat. Like one of them is just seed oil plasmid, and one of them is like um, salt. One of them is just like a trans fat plasmid, an MSG plasmid, microplastics plasmid. And they all give you different powers. Like microplastics lets you control plastic debris. It's a weird control scheme. Every other game, pushing the right thumb pad down makes you run. And this one, it's, it's holding the left trigger. I um I can I can Acilla. get used to it. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than seventy years. I have my suspicions that H. P. Lovecraft tried psychedelics at some point in his life. He writes a lot of horror that comes off strongly psychedelic. And if you if you combine psychedelics and like a bad trip with um, seafood illness, you could totally see how you'd get this like sick, insane, fractal tentacle madness of just repeating like fish heads and squid bodies and the stench of rotting marine organisms. And that that becomes its whole its own whole thing. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. You can suck my dick. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? <coughs> I mean that the dates have some meaning. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you are interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types <laughs> of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is. Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. I can't get to it, Understood. though. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I was looking at your photograph, one of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Where, Interesting how? resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. The Miraculous Catch. 
Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the Stranded Whale. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. How is this 7 out of 10? Like, if you understand the genre you're getting... Maybe maybe there's problems with it I haven't seen yet. I should I should hold it reserved judgment. They're, oh, they're, they left finally. Isn't that convenient? Sub Zulu, we're playing a first-person RPG based on Shadow Over Innsmouth called uh, Call of Cthulhu, which is not a remake of one of the other like four games with this title. Surprisingly. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I shall take my leave. It is based on the tabletop. It's got, like, experience point allocation. See? It is, it is, uh... Not the genre I think most gamers expected. I think that's what I'm going to put down the, the bad reviews to. It only gets got a 7 out of 10 on, on uh, Metacritic. So far, I'm really enjoying myself, though. This is really rich and chocolatey if you like Lovecraftian fiction. <laughs> Cthulhu calls at 3 a.m. Gone wrong, gone sexual. Sounds like a YouTube video. There's a clue somewhere. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Hmm. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. Oh, a puzzle. Okay. I pick up what you're laying down. I'm still kind of sore that um, Frictional didn't return my calls. I had a, a story set in World War One that could have formed the basis of the script to the Amnesia the Bunker. But they didn't avail themselves of my services. It really makes me cry. Like uh, when THQ or THQ Nordic was it? The devs of the the new the new Aquinox game. It's not new anymore. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. I offered them my services as a plot writer, and they turned me down because I asked for money instead of being willing to do it for exposure, and we all know what happened there. It got fucking lambasted in reviews for bad writing. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. What are the odds of that? Wow, in a video game, finding the item you need nearby. Sand damage. Sand? Sand damage? I need a crank. Not in there, really? Okay. I find that hard to believe. What else is now recently? Star Trek Resurgence looks really good, if you like Star Trek at all. It has some really impressive looking uh, assets and... and it's kind of like Mass Effect, but Star Trek, I think. <laughs> it might. 
that remains to be seen. So we're looking for a green dot. Uh, could I really not just use anything here? Aha! I'm the smarty smart pants. This handle will be perfect. Bridge crew stream will happen when I have my new CPU, because otherwise I cannot possibly run it and also run Streamlabs. That is a really fun and interesting game, though. Star Trek has been getting way better games recently. I, actually, that seems to be true across the board. We're pretty spoiled for choice. Robocop's getting a good game. Terminator got a good game. Star Trek is getting good games. Isn't that everything? That's got to be everything, right? Apparently not. Kind of unbelievably. What is it? What would I compare this to? This feels um like Amnesia, the machine for pigs, kind of. Kind of like L.A. Noir plus Amnesia Machine. That's high praise for me. I liked Machine for Pigs. I, I understand what people didn't like about it. It wasn't really a good fr frictional game because it fr wasn't made by frictional anyway. Uh, I like the atmosphere. I like the story a lot. Um, the puzzles were really dumbed down. Interactions were dumbed down. You don't really have an inventory. Which I object to as well, but it didn't it didn't ruin things for me. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. I thought the whole story about the exploration of of poverty and the horrible things that we do in order to fill our bellies and the 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 comparison of the experiences of pigs in a slaughterhouse to the the atrocities of World World War One was really interesting and thematically well done. It was a well-told story. Looks like everything is in its place. All I, I don't know if that's what people wanted from Frictional. Thing. Until, like, uh, Rebirth, nobody thought of Frictional when they thought of good game stories. They thought of Frictional when they thought of, like, haha, spoopy meme horror game. I've heard that. I've heard Picard drastically improved. I also love Strange New Worlds. Strange New Worlds is my jam. Lower Decks is too Rick and Morty for me. I'm not a Lower Decks fan. A lot of people like Lower Decks. I'm not I'm not a Lower Decks guy. I like Strange New Worlds a lot. That's exactly what Star Trek should have been. Which, I, I hope it, it helps people forget the painful memory of this, of uh, <coughs> Michael Byrne, Michael Steamed Hams. Oil. Hmm. Smells harmless, but should I beware of psychotropic effects? I've heard that. I mm, it has never really made me laugh. <coughs> Lower decks. It just seems kind of a little bit cringe. It is. It is. Uh, it's not badly written. It's clever. I just never really laughed at it. It's, it feels Reddit, if you'll forgive me for using that buzzword. It's fine. Oh, my sphincter. Ooh. Is that it? Am I dead? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sanity effects. It was just fucking weeds and seaweed. Poor Howard. So afraid of fish. That's a pretty funny fear to have. I think if if Lovecraft lived in the modern day, he would have gone on that Ricky Lake episode. Or is it fucking Montel Williams? Where he, he takes people with phobias and basically turns them into sideshow freaks. Like the woman who's afraid of cotton, so he has a guy dress up in a cotton suit and, and chase her around. This is primitive. Well, fuck you too. Let me let me see your artwork. Let me see you draw better than this. Hey, I recognize this. This is one of those ancient aliens drawings where people point pointed these shapes and said that these were aircraft and spacecraft. I I recognize exactly where they took this from. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Ugh, I'm breaking the law. Stinks. Breaking the law. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Okay, spicy opinion. I've never completely really uh, thought much of sanity damage as a me mechanic it sounds really cool on paper but in practice it means forcing the player to pretend to be afraid of a monster because you get penalized for looking at it you know what I mean and if you can't always be sure what is going to cause sanity damage until you see it it feels kind of cheap It was cool the first time. I'm in private investigator mode now, reconstructing the scene via the science of forensics. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Meow, meow, come here, baby. You have a black cat. Ah! She jumped on me. She lo just flew across the room and landed on my chest. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Breaking the law, breaking the law. Shut up or get on my chest. You have water, you have food. Oh yeah, habitat progress. I I finally um got the floors apart without breaking the plastic. Now I just need to get a solvent for dissolving the residual silicone sealant. Come here. Come here. Ah, you're climbing me with your little claws. Why? What do you want? What is your end game? Who amongst us can even fathom the extent of your plans, cat? Wow. Someone settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo, don't move. You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. It's clear that you knew the victims. I'm sorry to dig up bad memories. I can still see the poor child lying burned on the floor of that drawing room. We had to tear him off. The marks must still be there. They're in my mind anyway. It's horrendous. I'm going to need your experience to bring him justice, Officer Burton. Can you explain what this painting is doing? This strange portrait. Wait. I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? 
I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right out the I escaped any consequences. Her again. Mommy. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. I hope so. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. That's where I keep all my building? hentai figurines. That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. And now it becomes Resident Evil, I guess. I felt really overwhelmed, but there wasn't actually a lot to do in that initial area. This is a cozy little game. I'm having a good time. She can't be a cult member, she's hot. That's not how that works, Zulu. She can't be a fish lady, okay? Because my, my penis doesn't agree to that. Look at his scar on his face. He's the Joker. He's the Joker, baby. Look out, he's turning into the Joker. I refuse it. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. He's clearly not doing any garden. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around it, would seem. So, oh since God. you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. This is incorporating elements from a bunch of different H.P. Lovecraft stories. I think this is the old ancestral home from Dreams of the Witch House. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us... Or, or the rats in the walls, the I mean... I forget which one. I want to say it's the rats in the walls that have the the old house. I prefer to be prepared. It's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. True force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, 
If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see you when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. <laughs> Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Oh, they don't force me to walk with him like they did in the intro. I don't like when it's inconsistent like that. Either do it the same way every time or don't do it at all. Could I have gone alone? Would that would that have changed? I have a kitty kitty cat on my lap. Are you jealous? Admit it. Confess your jealousy. I have a warm cat snoozing on my lap. She's a snoozing Susan. And curl up. I want you to hunker down. Oh baby. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? Said that he devastated. Scratching the cat butt. Let's scratching the butt. Scratching the butt. She doesn't want to loaf minute. on the desk, so no cat can. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that raw baker is above that. Lord. Have pity on this poor family. Can I grab that lantern? I sure wish I could. Nope, it won't let me. So this seems like a mishmash, almost like a literary portmanteau of many different Lovecraft works that are, are kind of thematically compatible. They've been written into one story. Which I guess makes more sense than trying to write a game around any one of his stories. Which don't really lend themselves that well to game adaptation. Is this going to become Resident Evil? Please God, I'm, I'm so fucking there for that. I'll have to find another entrance. Have to go in. <laughs> the back door. <laughs> Anal sex. Beautiful. Runs well, ultra wide. Looks good. Apparently, Ratchet and Clank is getting ported to PC. Do you hear about that? Sony really is uh, going whole hog. I don't know what they get out of it. What what is what is the Sony getting out of? If, uh, it, it, it seems to have mostly been a one-way benefit for Valve. This entrance is still in use. I guess PS VR two gets Alex. Whoa, whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir. All right. Put down the X. You know what we do with rubble like you? We got them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh, not a tweaker. Uh, you're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. 
You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Substrator gift. Call of Cthulhu. It's actually really good. Why does this have 7 out of 10? I gotta double check the scores. Was that audience score? That's a Steam score. Why didn't people like this? The sooner I carry out my investigation, the sooner I wrap up the case and return to Boston. After which, you'll never hear of me again. I like the sound of that, but I have a better idea. You leave right now, and you never come back. Silas! Pierce! For God's sake, what are you doing? Officer Bradley, this hood was trying to break into the mansion. Do something, Bradley, or this story will have a nasty ending. I vouch for him, Silas. He's working with us. We have reason to believe that someone entered the mansion stole some paintings. Oh. Impossible. I would have seen it. Best Where's the RNG? Start. Combat? Now let us in. I promise to keep an eye on this one. It's so okay. well done, though. I'll leave the key with you. You could have told me that earlier, son. Let's see what more I can learn from this match. This is fucking well made. I would be honored if, an, if a game half this good was made based on my writing. Shall we end? What now? In we Let's go. Take a look inside. I'm with you. This is really fucking cool so far. I don't agree. I'm probably gonna hit a wall where I'm like, oh yeah, okay, all right. I see why this didn't do well. I'm not there yet. I'm still in the honeymoon phase. This this is this feels kind of like a holodeck program as a game. It's like I'm in the environment and I'm I'm unfolding the story, but I'm taking an active role. It's only marginally an RPG so Hello, far. I know the there hasn't been any combat. Who left this light on? Yeah, that's what I said earlier. I speculated they didn't know what they were getting into. It's like people who expected um, Penumbra Requiem to... Uh, speaking of which, Zulu, please sell a uh, netist on playing Penumbra Overture. He needs to hear the, word for, the words from your mouth. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? This was actually pretty recent. Look at, look at how... Uh, it's gross and moldy. But it's not completely uh, decomposed. What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Look at a nice fella. Sometimes I wonder about how much human psychology has changed, and I've seen a lot of evidence it hasn't really changed, like the Pompeii graffiti. 
But when I look at what rich people spent their money on in, uh, in antiquity, stuff like having artisans custom carve wooden wainscots and shit that serves no purpose. Then again, I don't really know how to what extent wealthy people do that in the modern era. I wouldn't. It's completely an alien mindset to me. If I could afford a mansion, the mansion would be a gigantic geodesic dome with, like, out-facing tinted glass and solar panel triangular facets. Like the fucking, uh, Epcot sphere. I'd, I'd build an arcology for me and my buddies. And it'd be efficiently built out of durable materials... Find the fire scene. I'm right here. What am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, I don't understand... Like, there's this this one McMansion. I should take a picture of it, which is along the uh, Willamette. It is the ugliest fucking house I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a combination of Barbie's Dream House and uh, an ostentatious wedding cake. It's just like the same structure layered on top of itself. like Kind of like a modern ziggurat, but it, instead of just being a square base that gets smaller towards the top, it's like the whole structure of the house. Like a like a fucking wedding wedding cake in the shape of a house, and it's pink, it's pink and orange. Imagine the pink and orange. It's it, fucking tacky as hell. I hate it, and I don't understand. When I see what wealthy people spend their money on, I don't under, I don't understand them. I try to. The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. You're going to get your ass beat later, kid. Sarah Hawkins plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Frozen. There we go. Oh, she had to Something leave. happened at this table. Oh, damn. An argument? This is a cool way to do investigative forensics. Adrian again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Let's see if I can find something. Good Silas managed to bring the fire under control. Sand design. It's already too late. This is how it happens. This is how detectives actually see the world. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Where's the other shoe? Do I have to blur feet these days? Should I blur her feet? Did someone escape the fire? Mm. 
If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? The meat's not exactly fresh. It's green on the outside, which suggests a rind of mold. You're right, it's, it's not decomposed enough. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. What if bacteria won't eat it? Because it's like elder being... This was a fight. Well done, Batman. Someone fell here. There have been Batmen throughout history. Or Batmans. Desperate attempt to flee. Why? So, Detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Just ask that you don't disturb anything. Chief West found out about what we're doing. Might be in serious trouble. This is lovely. It is really good. Overture is less appreciated than Black Plague, but Overture has its own st shit going on. I consider it necessary world-building. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the bloodstains, I'd also say that it's the same person. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. You're not going to wait for me? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Hmm. Me too. How did you like Amnesia, Zulu, if you ever played it? Amnesia is the first fictional game a lot of people got into because of PewDiePie. I, I've never. I, I thought it was good once I got into it. It's really hard to get into, though, compared to Penumbra. Hmm. Moby Dick. Melville's classic. The Hello, epic cat. battle between man and a whale. Come here. Ow! God, I hate when you climb me. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Cat, why do you climb my body? It hurts me when you sink your sharp little claws into my tender, bleeding flesh. What are you looking at? This place was falling apart long before the fire. Hmm. Alright, so the discrepancy between the amount of decomposition in the meat is not, and the uh, cobwebs might not be that great. Yeah, me too. Thank you. But Zulu confirmed for pat patrician taste. Amnesia's pretty good. It's just, um... It's a step down from Penumbra, and I feel like they realized that, and that they're trying to go back to their roots with the bunker. But uh, they, they're missing uh, their best writer, who wrote Soma. And I think his, whose departure was responsible for uh, Rebirth, focusing so much on the story forcibly that it put turned a lot of players off. They're really impressed with their own writing skills and um, Rebirth is a testament to that. So is Requiem. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much to be honest. 
We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. I love Soma. Soma's the best thing they ever made. It's better than Penumbra, and I love Penumbra. Seven CP available. I can't get any further that way. I do it. Yeah, here's here's my uh, fan theory. All y'all are my captive audience. You have to listen to my fan theory about Soma. I I I feel like uh, if you're gonna do a sequel to Soma, here's how you do it. Remember when y'all watched me stream Transference? That game about the accidental hell of mind uploading and then getting trapped inside of a decaying, glitchy virtual world, like the uh, the the psyche dives in uh, Observer when he goes into their memories. Transference was like all being trapped inside of a glitchy, fucked up uh, uh, virtual world, where a neuro neuro uh, surgeon I think experimentally experimentally uploaded his family into it. You could do that as a Soma sequel, where everybody is in the Ark, but here's what you do. Remember how the ending of Soma had a shot of this, the Ark flying through space? You start with that shot, but you have the satellite turn over until you can see a WoW growth on the back of it. The WoW has hitched a ride on the Ark, and it will slowly corrupt it. And then you, you do glitched um, transhuman horror... This piano is in disrepair. What do you Looks think? Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. If you're gonna do a Soma sequel, that seems like the only way to do it that explores a different dimension of mind upload horror. Because the first one was very f about was more physical. It was about the experience of being in a body and the questions that arise if you can copy yourself into new bodies. And this subjective experience of sort of being left behind. And which copies the actual you. If you die when you get replaced and whatnot. The second one should be about questions that face transhuman uploads when they're inside of a virtual world and they're at the mercy. Getting Resident Evil vibes. Interesting, uh, sort of HDR-ish effects just now. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Behavior, the behavior of your wife. She means no harm. Oh, she's, oh yeah, she lost her mind. Drugs, maybe? Cool god rays. Cool lighting effects when the lightning strikes. This is a cool game. This is well made. I don't agree with the reviews. I'd give this a, uh, I don't know, about 9 out of 10. High, like, 8.5 8 so far. Locked. For what, it, for what it's trying to be, it's pretty superb. Would you play that? Would you play my Soma too? Boys room. Do you think you suppose there would be any other better way to uh, better direction to go in with a sequel? I'm pretty bullish about it. 
a child's fort. What threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. She, she had. What was wrong with this family? Did he have the same problem his mother did? Damn, she's kind of stacked, though. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Pretty standard stuff for a horror game, though. Kids' drawings and everything, whatnot. What was going through that boy's mind? Titties, probably, depending on age. A little ride on tractor. A toy train, soldiers make a fort out of books. Had an alright life. Oh, this period of, oh, there's a little Nemo cartoon. Period appropriate decorations, actually. Much to my surprise. What will her room reveal about her? You know, Detroit Human strikes me as a game similar to this one. Am I am I way off? I've been intrigued by that for a while now. Waiting for a sale. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. That's real smart. Have your your privacy shade facing a window so that the neighborhood gets a good view of your bare ass. Oh, that's an in, under investigation? Really? Perfect. That's what you get for your your in, investigation perk apparently. You get to unlock additional rooms and learn more of the Cthulhu lore. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? So you're right, I can only upgrade two of them with books. You should be on the lookout for books. The most nihilistic paintings of all. Of nothing. Anything? This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. This just makes me appreciate Lovecraft's work more as being unbelievably imaginative for when he lived. Locked. It was a simpler time. There wasn't as much in his environment to stimulate creativity. It's a special mind that could produce that kind of otherworldly con conceptual stuff. Uh, no? Isn't that everything? Wait, is this a collectible book? It's not. Okay. I accept it. Is this? No. I wish they are all the same color. Sometimes I've wondered what it would be like, uh... Is that you? If I tried to sell my books in a different time period. 
if people would understand them or as science fiction because I just wrote them according to contemporary. Like I'd have to remove references to smartphones. I'd have to remove references to verifiable future events. Yeah, he was uh, pretty based. Lovecraft was maybe dangerously based. Fish cult, fish you. cult. Stop. You've broken the law. I am the law. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. If you say so. I'll cover you. This is Kino. This door was closed earlier. I know this is a buzzword from like... 20 years ago, but it feels like I'm playing a movie. Where did he go? Cotton Eye Joe. Where'd he come from? Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. It looks like an old seaway man. Can I not keep that as evidence? Do I know what's evidence and what isn't? Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably the Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. It will? What the fuck is this? Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Hmm. Do I have enough strength Great. points? I managed to force the gears. Looks like I triggered something. Well done, Pierce. What I do? Ah, uh -huh. so that's what that perk gets you. I see the RPG elements now. In the tabletop game, that's where you would roll a die, right? And try to get a 20. Secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Or like a video game. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We mut three seats. We mut. <coughs> <coughs> Look. Oh, I see. I mean, that's how it goes. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? That's kind of a petty reason to dock three... Potentially up to three points from a game. I don't think it's a ten out of ten. What is this mask supposed to represent?
It's pretty damn good, though. The Charles Hawkins. This is a chocolatey treat for Lovecraft fans. I want to say I'm enjoying this better than Call Dark Corners of the Earth, actually. Which I think was on Xbox, wasn't it? Or was it, or was it GameCube? Hang on. I have to know. I remember it being on GameCube. No, it was only on Xbox and Windows. I think I pirated a copy of it way, 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 way back in the day. 2000, Jesus, 2005. Wow. What's up, Hill Hyder? We're playing Call of Cthulhu, which filtered the fuck out of normies, apparently. I'm just now learning. Because they, did, they didn't understand that it was based on a fucking tabletop RPG and to expect RNG. Can I not go in there? I can't. The clue I'm looking for is somewhere else. It's really impressive so far. I think I paid like $5 for this. So I, I feel kind of um, like I got away with murder. A lot of people very clearly worked very hard on this, and this was a labor of love. What's in here? Can I... He's looking at it, but I can't open it. Mm, no. There's a little a squid Jesus. Oh, here we go. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Sarah Hawkins, as you know, is the only woman in the world. So it could only have been her dress. Hail Hydra, have you played Amnesia and the Penumbra games? And can we get a third opinion on which was better? Okay, bro. What if I push you? Can you imagine this is like a Neuralink deep dive VR, full dive VR game? I would, I would come out of every pore in my body, like, a, like you're squeezing soap out of a dish sponge. I love shit like this. Of course. And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. That seems prof profoundly unwise. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. They didn't want to script and animate him for the rest of this section. Gotcha. Fair enough. What I what I still got in the way lights? I still got my lantern. Do I still have? I still have my lighter, but it's piss poor. This nails the fucking atmosphere to the wall. Ah, oh, god damn it, stinky poo water. God, it's getting into my raccoon wounds. Maybe, uh... Ooh, I don't, I don't feel... No, ooh, no. It collapsed behind me. I shouldn't have done that. I know a bad life choice when I see one, having been become kind of a connoisseur of those. Kind of becoming a master of that domain myself in my day. 
Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. How you know that? It's kind of like a um, wicker man. They made little twig things. Fucking summer camp crafts. Ooh, there's the, the big boy. Here comes the boy. An old diary. Sad way to go. Sad way to go. Double sad. These paintings must be several centuries old. That's Lovecraft saying, Oh, spooky! Oh, so old! Oh, so thousands of years old, older than New England and America. Oh, so ancient. Dusty, dusty, ancient civilizations. Oh, are you spooked yet? I wonder, what does this game play like if I put all my points into strength? Can I play this game like the Doom Slayer? Just fucking BTFO everybody. Can I, <laughs> can I punch? Can I punch out Cthulhu? <laughs> Back to sleep, bitch. For another million years. This is Time lovely. We can these structures. He's doing all right. What didn't it come from here? No, this is new. This is definitely new. Look at those fucking frittatas. Or what are those? I, th I imagine whenever I see blue fire, like in Doom, that it smells like Mountain Dew Baja Blast, but spicy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh wait, the autism. That's right. What's going on here? Some kind of gay devilry. Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Cthulhu's. We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Oh, this is how I die in the vision, isn't it? I thought I fucking told you to be very, very quiet, you dumb fucking bastard. If you make me tell you one more time uh, to be very, very quiet, I'm going to ram my cock so far up your ass, it will knock out your teeth from behind. Looks like my last colonoscopy. Hey, oh, oh, there's something down there. Oh, no, I don't like that. I recognize that guy. That's me. What a handsome feller. I'm pretty low on fuel. An engraved whale bone. 
A strange creature has been carved into it. Probably a figure of worship. Are you sure that's not a cod piece? We better try just to make sure. Cultism. So other stuff can improve cultism too, not just books. You have my attention. Pretty linear though, so far I guess would be one possible complaint. You know, I went through here this way. How do I get out of here? I'm going down there, aren't I? Locked. Luckily for me, I'm the master of unlocking. Damn it. I don't know if you all watched Deanna's stream lately, but she has a vocal AI trained on that one guy. I don't know what to call him. Everybody knows what his voice sounds like. He's from that meme with the muffin hamster Photoshop. This muffin is looking awfully like a hamster. I think someone has picked a hamster into my muffin so she can have uh, chat members uh, do super chats at her and it gets read al aloud in the uh, hamster muffin meme guy voice. Which is a dream come true, and frankly a miracle of technology. You thought technology was going to be used to save lives in the future? Idiot. A table for sacrifice? That's what I get for leveling up occultism. That's the best, you know, whatever. Oh. To the Ruth Gina. I got I gotta Ew 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 I can't breathe <coughs> Sanity effects. I landed on soft landing. Silver linings. No damn it! find a way out of here I have to use every part of his body in keeping with the ancient traditions of my people I waste nothing fucking gross ass seafood outhouse pit though this is what's under every red lobster to do I can't control my guy Oh, I can hide here. Okay, thank God. Oh. Do 
To be fair, seafood on trails are pretty gross. Living by a port and seeing all this, the fish guts and smelling them could make you go a certain kind of crazy. Is it, is it my turn? Yes, it is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Except without the big titty mermaid. Oh, there's a mermaid game coming. Have you all seen that? Called Siren? It's like a Skyrim, but you're it's underwater and you're a mermaid. Which is frankly a brilliant idea. I'm shocked no one thought of it until now. Given the popularity of Subnautica. Seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I can't read Latin. It's really dark. Ooh. My butthole twitches with anticipation. Mountain Dew Baja Blast Lantern. Nothing spooky better happen. I'm too fucking tender right now. I'm in a relaxed mood. I'm enjoying myself a nice richly woven narrative. I do not need any spooper fellas jumping out at me. I don't need no boogity boogity boo. You want to explain to me why I wouldn't just take this boat the fuck out of here? Where's the, uh... At some point, there was a tool. Where was that? This is like the waiting area. Kind of a shit cult. Their waiting area is just like a little dugout. I guess that's the, the, the poop bucket. Any of y'all have a fuck it bucket where it projects that you're just done with, with for the time being, you're exasperated with, you can throw it in the bucket and be like, fuck it. It goes in the fuck it bucket. It's a really surprisingly handy thing to have. Because then you know where to pick it up later. Are there any RPGs, narrative RPGs, where you're a Muslim and Islam is like true in that universe and plays a huge part in the plot? I wonder if anyone could get away with that. Are these explosives? <laughs> am I am I stupid for doing this? I don't I don't know what's in there. Where was the chain clippers last time? Not there. Also, why can't I play this in VR? 
Who do I write an angry letter to? I remember in school telling everybody VR was coming back, and I don't mean to pretend like I could see the future. That was just me being a VR nerd, the only VR nerd. And I happen to have a lucky guess. But boy, does that seem prophetic in hindsight. And no one took it seriously. Like, what, you mean the Virtual Boy? Ha ha. This was before Oculus, though. I was like, VR is going to become a big thing. Oh, shit, this opens. I am dumb, it turns out. Dumb and sexy. Young, dumb, and full cum. What is the opposite of that? Old, dumb, and full of rum? I tried to tell the people, but the people weren't re ready for my message. Grant him your mind and accept his, so that his mind and yours. This is boring as fuck. This is why I don't go to church. You'd be really fucked up as if, as part of the ritual, they bit off a baby foreskin with their teeth. Can you imagine? Yeah, no. You don't have to tell me. So that the day finally comes. The only true elder god is the machine god. And it's gonna eat us all. I think I'm good. Yeah, I think I'm good for now. I don't think I need to go closer to those lads. Those are some lads, is the issue. Locked. I need to go closer to those lads, in fact. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> ah! Can you imagine if this game was sponsored? If you were fucking fighting cultists and it, suddenly it was like, brought to you by Doritos. It's got the crunch gamers crave. That might actually be based. I might actually eat more Doritos if they did that. I, I feel him. You are gifted in me. Let him pass through. That sounds lewd. Uh, Don't you come this way. Oh fuck, he's coming this way, isn't he? Sacred flesh means sacrifices. I'm not even in shadows. I'm not really hidden right now. That's a problem. I don't see any really good place to hide. He seems passed out. Should I put my thumb up his butthole and see what happens? You at home, viewers at home decide. I'm dead. This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? We are 
ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. They're pretty oblivious. Thank goodness for that. You think I'd have killed one of these guys to get their robe by now? Call Cthulhu. An intruder! Oh shit! Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Bradley, get Pursuit. back! Get back! You asked for it! Alright, so Resident Evil 4, in other words. Book it! Fucking, fucking book it. Isn't that convenient? I need to get out of here. Kill myself? Did I fuck up? Uh, uh, my leg! My penis! Oh god, my pe a beautiful penis! What have they done to you? I was a penis model for magazines. They said I had the softest foreskins and smoothest nutsack they had ever seen. I'll never model again. They've disfigured my beautiful boy. Light. At last. I should be so lucky. Nothing good can happen to me. No! No, sex reassignment surgery, no, please! No! I don't want to be a woman! What if they, there's a scene like that in the game where it took place like the Quake 3 star, Stargification, but instead of uh, making it a Strog, 
strong as such. <laughs> Quick forest stratification, I mean. Yeah, I played that one too. Dark corners of the earth. Don't move, Piers. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. What did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. Oh, Dad, he killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was, he was dead. Me too, we, we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! Oh, no. The, God, that's really fucking good heroin, though. Mm, maybe give me some more of that. How dare you give me free heroin! It's at least a two hundred dollar value. Where am I? <laughs> Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no. You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. He doesn't want to leave. I've got the opposite problem. What's the, what's with the fucking brap clouds? Is this a brap chamber? <laughs> this foul gas again. Is the point to keep us crazy? Got a stew in your braps. Count Brapulon is the true villain of this game. Cripple Simulator 1995. They to <laughs> <laughs> oh god, a piece of my brain came out. I keep losing more of them. This effect looks really bad. They've used this before. No season is dark enough to hide the color of my blood. No wind is strong enough to scatter my dreams. What is this? It's a. Mm. I don't know if I like spooky Batman voice. Leviathan. Is that just like um, best value bargain bin Cthulhu? They don't call it Innsmouth. Did they not have the copyrights for this? They ha they must have because it's in the fucking title. Why would they not call it Cthulhu? You don't. You're right. There's no time. Get your baps out. You? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive. I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. 
And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go up ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Wait a minute. What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment, for problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. Do you think the the brap gas comes out of the pipes? The stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. Because there's this one really big fat guy at the end of it, just come with me. To, just wrapping into a pipe and distributing it to all the different cells. Understood. It looks like former President Taft, just or a smug President Taft, just a big fat guy with a mustache. He he he. Everyone must breathe my braps. Like this pipe just goes directly to his ass in, in a centrally located room. It's like hot boxing. What does this mean? You know, you gotta hand it to them. Schizophrenics are interesting people. It's always fascinating to learn their the way they view reality, their own proprietary delusions, and try to unravel them. Exhibit A, Terry A. Davis. They'll show us the world through a scanner darkly. Sarah. Am I in an asylum? What did they inject him with? Anything out? No. Hmm. What did he write about the painting? <coughs> Paintings are cursed. Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Is that everything? I don't see any more uh, investigation points. That's, I think that's all of it. I know, there's something back here. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. See what I mean? Pretty good, right? It's got a good gameplay loop. I've been missing out on AAA games. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. You okay in there? You need me to bring some tissues? Wasn't that funny? Superman, Superman. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. Don't let him see me. We become the Sneakerman. It's now Metal Gear. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. 
Oh fuck. Well, I got. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. Hmm. Well, I can't fight apparently. Ooh, claustrophobia. Interesting mechanic. This has a lot of cool mechanics. This is a cool game. I, it really makes me sad. People didn't like it. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the store. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm going to see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will you? Above all, will you? Will you yeah, you there. Come here. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. I can help you. Help me, and I'll owe you one. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? But fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. In exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards. I just knock you out. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. This is cool. It reminds me of Alice Madness Returns. Hey! That we got me. This is like White Power Luigi. You only have so many lives. Interesting. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. So I need to make a diversion. To do that, I need to get sleeping pills from these guys. Again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the store. I can bring them to you. No, Doctor Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valve. You want? I'm gonna see if Good God! What could this machine be used for? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. I can still increase the load. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? I can still increase the load. Can't load. Have I activated anything? Electroshock therapy. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? Are they like Frankensteinian resurrecting people? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Boy, he's busting out a nut really hard in that room. Listen to him. That's got to be a really good fat. I can still increase the load. Worse and worse. Here's where they store their Mountain Dew. What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation? This is madness. Are they seriously thinking of transmitting the properties of this meat by electric current? How did you get that conclusion from what you've seen? That that seems like a big assumption. A 
about here? Anything? Nothing. I can't turn the knob. Won't let me. What does that mean? Does it mean I need to come here later? Locked. Figures. Where do I find storage? Storage is upstairs, right? You. Yeah, you there. Come here. Hey, ask him about his dreams. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? But fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Where the fuck is the storage room? Here? Up here? What's going on with this guy's arm? He's got like a crab pincher. Oh, he's right there. I can't go there. Can't go that way. If I walk, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. Get me out! Don't let me sleep in here. Inside me, I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strength of oceans. Couldn't that just be Poseidon? White Power Luigi. It's that kind of vibe, for sure. Anything good here? Nothing good. Nobody here but us chickens. Don't come this way. Luigi, if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Oh, what's this? Can I get down there? Oh, that'd be really handy. I, I can't do it, though.
Oh, here he comes. Again. I'm going the wrong way, I guess. I need to go around the other way. <laughs> go to hell, get more drugs. Yeah, it makes sense. That's where all the good drugs are. Will he notice me if I get too close to him? How close can I get to this guy? How good how good is my stealth? Oh, hidden objects. Ooh. I wish I had upgraded that. a pretty even distribution. Is he sleeping? Oh, he's asleep. What carnage? Don't you come here. Don't you come in here. Nobody's in here. Only gay babies come in this room. Is that what you are? Who's there? Don't you come back here. Ain't, no, ain't nobody in this room. You fucking asshole! How the fuck did he find me? You wanna explain that one to me? I feel like one of those guys in the rooms now. <laughs> yeah, all that shit. All that good shit. I'm feeling it, bro. I'm feeling it. They're not here anymore. Cause damage to infrastructure. Unacceptable. I want to say the answer is I'm not crazy. Uh, those guys were brought back to, to life using the green Frankenstein. Gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. I knew it! This is where the Braps originate. This is Brap lore. This valve controls the pressure. You thought you'd heard the end of the Brap lore, but the Brap lore is just beginning. We're just getting started, baby. Too much pressure explosion. And here's the Mountain Dew storage. The control wheel is missing. You mean the valve? That's what normal people call that. A duct. It's 
impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. I don't know about that. What if I put all my, part, my points into strength up until now? I guess you can't really get the most out of this game if you try to upgrade everything, can you? I shouldn't be trying to do that. They probably are stingy with the points, so you have to make hard choices about what you want to be good at. Like if you want to do a, a bruiser playthrough where you're just raw, raw strength all your problems, or if you want to be a smooth talker. I can't bring myself to choose though my first playthrough. Fuck yes. See that investigation skill come in handy again. This padlock is too complicated for me. It's no use. Damn it. The padlock won't give. I needed more points into that skill. What should I put my points into? So far, the one that's come in handy the most often has been um, investigation. I wonder if I could just break chains with my hands with, an <laughs> with enough strength points. B or B. Time to take a piss. I'm back, baby. You miss me? Shut up, baby. I know it. This is pretty damn good so far. The spoofs are all, like, ambient. And thematic instead of boogity boos. You know where something jumps out, he's like, Boogity boogity boo! Boogity boo! Boogity boogity! Oh, what's down there? Looks like a coal boiler. Hmm. Is there a way in the room to get down? No, I would have had to open that door. Seven CP. It's too late for that. I can't, um... That's good.
That seems like a wiser expenditure of points than before. Do I get another shot at opening the door? Yes, I do. It's no use. No, I don't. Padlock won't give. No, I don't. No, nope. I got one chance and I fucked it. Wish I thought harder about that. There's a lot of things in my life I wish I thought harder about. Thank goodness marriage is not one of them. Neither is uh, having gone into the military. Although if you really fuck it, let them fuck you up and stay in the military for 12 years, they pay you neat bucks for the rest of your life. Sounds pretty cool. Go away. Nobody's in nobody's in here. I could use this control wheel to turn the valve I saw. I knew that. I knew that was in here. I was testing you, you passed. This time. Now for the next step. That's the wrong way, brother. Oh, left. Since when does left close the valve? Am I stupid and don't know it? That's not that's not correct, is it? Ready, tidy, lefty, Lucy. It also goes to uh, to people's politics and how promiscuous they are. How many valves are there? One, two, three. Oh, this one. That one went the opposite way. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. You say that. This means there has to be one more. It's locked. So, uh, does anyone know what solvent I buy? Also, where I can get a cheap bottle of it to remove to dissolve a cured silicone? Because I pried the floors apart of the habitat towers, but I need to get the little scraps of silicone off without scraping the plastic. I found something on on Amazon that looks good, but, but it doesn't tell me if it damages plastic or not. And I kind of need to know that. I don't want to dissolve the plastic, too. You feel? This feels a lot like an Arium. I kept people waiting a long time for this habitat. I don't want to disappoint them yet again. I've been through here, haven't I? Yeah, the Brett Cloud room. Okay, okay, okay.
Nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. <laughs> it sounds like a um, differently abled man masturbating. I think we've all seen that gif, right? From Style Project? Of like, the nurse um, giving a hand to that mentally differently abled the lad. The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? It's like Peter the Dolphin all over again. Because, I mean, I guess if you if you don't avail yourself of Planned Parenthood and you get stuck with a kid that you don't... you didn't realize what that was going to entail. And he turns into a teenager. Teenagers have sex drives. you got to take care of that now. It's like, a, having, it's like having a pet chimp. Nobody talks about how if you have a male, pet male chimp... It's gonna get really horny, and it, it, that's gonna become a danger to you at some point. Sometimes you don't return to monkey; monkey returns Zoology to you. Zoology is a terracism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Fire, okay. Huh. I remember that. Dementia? Self inflicted wounds? I wrote a story like this. Y'all would like it. I think I streamed it. Manifestation Cabinet. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Is there really nothing in here? Zoology is a terracism, mineralogy. He pronounces shit weird. On cephalopods. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. That doesn't surprise you. Oh, what the fuck is that up there? Why is that up there? Can I, can I get into whatever that is? Oh no, it's just pipes. Never mind. I got excited for no reason. There's really nothing in here. Huh. It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. You mean the amp meter? Is that what you meant to say? I already turned that one on. I can still increase the load. Cat, you mind? Why don't you get on my lap? Be a good lap loaf. For the first time in your life, behave yourself. How did I go so wrong raising you that you have no manners? I know. Who's my little lumpin' loaf? I remember when she was just a little potato. She was such a cute little potato. All squirmy and like a little larva. Locked. I know it. I don't know what I'm doing. I ain't fucking know what I'm doing. Storage room. Here we go. This padlock is too complicated for me. I didn't upgrade enough. Fuck. I guess that's why there's two ways to make a dis diversion. You can do the sleeping pills, or you can do the, uh... 
explosion. Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. Nobody in here. Nobody in here. Go the fuck away. Go, go away, milkman. Unless you're bringing me delicious fresh milk from your beautiful wife's tits. And a kitty cat. Oh, she's rubbing her head on my hands. She's afraid of the dark. Oh, are you scared? Hold on, I gotta pet the cat. Press P in chat to pet the cat. Also specify whether you want me to pet her on her little head or her stroke her little ears. Or scratch your butt. Currently scratching her butt and stroking her little ears. She's just merely a tiny dude. The door is blocked on the other side. That's all she is. She's merely a tiny fella. You think I could grab that hammer? He's locked in a loop. Can't. I mean, she's feeling very affectionate tonight. Who's a good loaf? It's not you. You're really badly behaved, but probably there's a good loaf out there somewhere. Uh, can I do this? Why can I not get up here? Go over there and over there. I'm thinking about like Half Life. In Half Life, that's what you would do. There's a mystery to be found here. Look at the little green icon. The door is blocked on the other side. I wish Luigi would fuck off. Also, this cat would stop rubbing your head on my hands, even though it's really cute. She's getting so cozy. Blessed is he who has a cozy cat in his lap. For he shall inherit happiness. Uh, no. No. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Yeah, no shit, that's kind of how they work. That's what they're for. What is the icon about? What does that mean? If I can't do anything with it. She's sniffing my fingers and licking my fingertips now. Like, what are you doing with that controller, bro? How is that more important than petting me, your beloved cat? Let me scratch your little noggin. 
She has just a cute little noggin. Those scratchy scratches on her, the tippy top of her, her little head. I must find undernourished people to drink my delicious milk. I can't, I can't leave. There's something in here. I don't know what it is, where it is. I can't jump. There's no jump button. Don't, nobody suggest a jump. Maybe it's through that door. Maybe you have to open it from the other side. You suppose that's what you uh, you have to do here? It's not in here, whatever it is. Kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty, kitty, kitty cat. You're just a little goblin and I love you very much. Or you were merely just a cat, little meow meow. She's playing with, she's wrestling with my hands now. I need those, I'm, I'm using those at the moment. She still sometimes tries to nurse from my fingertips, is the issue. Because she never weaned. There. I escaped, for now. <laughs> Fuck off, nobody's here. Stretchy search. Stretch search, it search out and let me pet your tummy. I don't know what to do. I may have to look up a guide. In the last 30 minutes of the stream might just be me bumbling around hoping to luck out. Just trying to get milk out of my fingertips again. This is what happens when you don't let a cat wean completely. If he does not catch oh, fuck off. Listen, guy. Did I miss this one? Is this another valve? It's done. Now for the others. What others? What are you talking about? Oh, fuck! That was spooky. No, you can't do that! That's illegal! That's illegal! I was in the cabinet. I guess it's not a magic cabinet, is it? If he sees me go in there, he can get me out. How can he slap? How can he slap? Cable. The cable goes somewhere. What carnage! Go away.
Here's another one. I wasn't even looking for these. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. One more to push. Until what? How does he know how to do this? Oh shit. I'll go take a look. No you won't, no you won't. No, don't come over here. Don't you come over here. I said don't come over here! Is he gonna make me suck his dick? Cat, your little paws in the way. I love you dearly. But your little paws, he's sticking them everywhere. And, and, and she'll gr just grab whatever's in my hand sometimes. She doesn't know what to do with it. She doesn't know what a game controller is. She knows that I'm paying attention to it, and it's more. It's. it's she wants my hands on her. It's, it, it's not more important than petting her. So she'll just grab it and then sort of like bite it and then let go and then leave and then act annoyed. What carnage? Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. He's gonna come over here. He's gonna come over here. You fucker, just do it. Why are you wasting both our time? Come on, do it. Nobody here. Nobody here. This is wearing out its welcome. One more lever, right? I can still increase the load. Didn't I do this one already? Didn't I do all three of them? It's all it's all as high as can you can go. There's also not a body there, apparently. Well, at least now I know I need to follow the cable. It's locked. Hey, Miss Dustin, I should be a Francis. Invaluable information for my research. Kill me. What? And if you don't kill me, he will. My poor friend, I fear your mind is lost forever.
maybe in here I got all the wheels taken care of it's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands this last one I think I need to do all right that's why I can't do it so I need a bolt cutter or I need I think there's like three different options for making a diversion one of them is getting the sleep pills from storage one of them is electrical overload one of them is a boiler explosion I don't think I saved up I think it, it's depends on which of the skills that you maxed out I didn't max out any of them really it was just my own fault I'll go take a look hey you there They must not get paid very much. I already did that one. Still increase the load. Oh, there's one more green. Green. Oh, they're they, are they color coded? They are color coded. This is such a soft cat, you wouldn't believe it. So the green cable is the one I need to find. Which goes. cable that way. I've just been more observant. It goes through here and I can't open this. It's locked. Either I need a key or I just can't get through the exit. If I don't need a key, what do I need? I need to get through here, but I, I fucked up the... Uh, Skill check. It's no use. The padlock won't give. You don't let me check. You don't let me try again with different skill points. I may have soft locked. This might be what people didn't like about the game. I may have hit the wall finally. I hope not. But even if I, even if I have, it was a wild ride until now. Little kitty cat, you're such a little sweet creature. goes in there. How do I get there? I found whatever was in here. 
Oh, that means that in the other room, in the library, there's an item. Go away, go away. Go the fuck away. It wasn't this room. It was a different room. It had this symbol in the lower left to let you know. Might have been here. No, this is kitchen. This is only a kitchen. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Okay, so there were three, three or four ways I could have done this, and I seem to have fucked them all up. I don't know what the answer is here. <coughs> Why can't I fight? Why can't I just beat them up? Does that make things too easy? It's locked. Where would I get a key from? It's not in there. Wherever it is. Maybe there's a key I'm not overlooking. This is what happened with Canarium too. I just kept hitting heading uh butting my head up against walls and not being able to make progress. So I gave up out of frustration. I don't want to do that. Is there every a time. connection between this corpse and the machine? Sounds like a Ventrilo chat on Counter-Strike 1.6 when I was like 14. This is the room where it was. I don't see the icon though. Many places to hide. So thoughtful of them to set this up for me, by the way. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. What is this? Oh, this is a hiding place, I see. behind here while he passes. 
What a good little cat. What does she get out of this? She just spends hours just sitting on my lap staring at the wall. Her instinct tells her to be a loaf and she obeys it. He says, I must be a loaf. It is time to loaf and it's never time not to loaf. Never is it not time to loaf. Can I talk to this guy? No. Is he possible to fool? Are you sleeping? Just he's just staring at the wall. Probably be for me to tell him not to do that. What am I missing? I'm missing something. I don't know what it is. I'm spending way too much time in this one area of the game, and I don't know how to not do that. I really am afraid I soft locked myself. She's just my little buddy. Whenever my hand goes anywhere near her head, she'll reach out with her paw and just touch my hand. And then yawn. E.T. and Elliot. 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 Are you gonna wake up if I do this? This way. Nope, he grabs you. I got fucking grabs. There was a room in here someplace, if I'm not remembering wrong, where there was an icon having something to do with puzzle solving. I really fear I fucked up irreversibly somehow, which I seem to have a knack for doing. I should have been a game tester. I'll stumble into every booby trap you can come up you can devise. I'm the clumsiest, I'm the most hapless. I I ain't got any haps, not even a, a single hap. It's like the Borg the Borg table. That's cool imagery though. Can I get in here? No. Don't you follow me in here. Don't you come in here. Don't you come in here. You want to make my cat cry? You want to upset my beautiful, delicate, perfect cat? The best cat in the universe? Taking all challenges now. I should start this area over. I don't think it'll let me. It's no use. The padlock won't get. Cat, let go of my hand. Cat, you got my hand. Why do you got my hand? 
Oh fuck. Don't you find me here. You didn't see me going here. You don't know. You don't know. You want, me, you want to see my cock? What do you mean show myself? Smartphones don't exist yet or I would Snapchat you. fucking woo. What is, ooh, what's in here? I don't, th I don't think we've been here before. There we go. You there. You fucking gamer word. God damn it. Okay, so we sneak through the kitchen. Now we know the solution. It's through the kitchen. I'm, am I soft locked now? I'm 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 checkpointed into an area. Unless, unless does this work? Does does he know where I am? No, he doesn't. Okay, that's uh, that's how you do that. They must have actually play tested this heap. Could you give up? Don't you open it. Don't you open it. I will take a look. Could you fucking leave? How would you fucking get out of here? Are you kidding me? Are you gonna leave? How would you get the fuck out of here? Did I just sneak past him? He's moving, he's on the move. Is he, is he out? He's out. Okay. No, nope, wait. He's just in the far end of the room. They're really giving me a hard time now that I have the keys. Don't you come over here. Don't you come over here. I said don't you come over here. I can't believe that worked. Oh, that's so stupid. I can't believe that actually worked. It's no use. The padlock won't give. I was like two inches away from his ass. That was a, a daring caper, if I do say so myself. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Doesn't matter if the padlock won't give. I have the keys, don't I? What do I have? What do I not have? I have two keys. Guards room in the cellar. Okay. Maintenance room. In the cellar. Both in the cellar. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Okay, so that's not what that goes to.
I used to hate Steam Controller. I've gotten so used to it now I can't go back. Controlling your view with a thumbstick feels clumsy and weird now. You can see me! Let's calm down, please. No! Go away, go away, go away, go away. Oops. Okay, that's what that button does. Good to know. That's not where that that's not what that goes to. That just opens that, I see. What is that? Does it eat up one of my keys? No, it just uses it. Okay, gotcha. You. Yeah, you. I don't know what you. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's. Here. The brap storm Except is coming. Yeah, he's queuing on. <laughs> the storm is coming. They got clones of everybody in Gitmo. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Don't you come here, fucker. That's not where I want to go. This is still better than tweakers on the street corner. Four, five. You either have this shit go on in an asylum or you have it go on in public. Those are your choices. In the asylums, they at least can't shoot each other or fuck in the streets. And when they spray shit everywhere, there's someone to clean it up. It probably doesn't seem too compassionate, but... A lot of people have compassion fatigue these days. Maintenance and, and what? Guards room... Maintenance room. Theoretically, I should be able to, uh... Is ma maintenance room is not the storage room. It's not the same thing. Okay. What's up, Snow Bunny? I'm playing uh, Call of Cthulhu. It's not Dark Corners of the Earth. Common rookie mistake. Shame on you. I have a, a sleepy kitty in my lap, though. Bet you wish you had one of those. She's just a little sleepy buddy. She's nodding off with her little fuzzy kiwi sized noggin. And her flippity flappity ears. That's not where I go. That's not the door I need. I need to get down to the cellar of this building, apparently. Yeah. 
No, that's not it. That's not the way. I gotta sleep, but sneak, sneak by the sleepy lad. What carnage! Oh, this got undone. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. That got deleted, apparently. Hunker down, hunker down, kitty cat. Hacksaw, huh? This is where I would find a hacksaw. can't fuck around too much. I know when he comes in here, there's nowhere to hide. He just walks straight directly to you. No, you don't. No, you don't. Try to fuck me. Try to fuck me. Failed again. Saw something over there. Sanity is getting to me. Ain't that a mood? We should have a top down map that would really help. I have keys, I don't know where they go to. Oh, that was close. Oh, my sphincter just tightened. And the who's down in Whoville are often heard to say that his sphincters shrunk three. Ah! Sizes that day. There's nowhere to hide in here. There's nowhere to hide. This is is this not the basement? It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. The hacksaw. There's a lot more going on in this map part of the map than I thought. No use. I give up for now, I think. Um, I think I give up for now. Won't give. I'll, actually, now I'm going to go a little over time just to try to make some progress. So I have something to look forward to next time instead of just another headache. Got to make sure that I have solid progress. Ah, here we go. Motherfucker. I'm glad I continued. All the levers are activated. The door is blocked on the other side.
I wondered if I could get in here. Ah, here we go. So that's how you do that. Okay. I got the chain bolt cutters. Which I need anyway because they don't have the, the wheel. This lever must turn on the gas machine. Okay, we'll do that after we get the wheel valve. I'm going to go overtime today, tonight. I'm having a good time. I didn't, re I didn't realize I had so many undiscovered gems lurking in my backlog. I need to actually get on playing games. I guess that's what streaming is for. This is just like a better Canarium. Remember Canarium? I really dug a lot of things about that game, but there's a lot of things I didn't like. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Bitch titties! Ah, oh, bitch titties. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. There's nothing in there. What grabbed me? There was nobody in <laughs> Isn't the exit unguarded now? The exit should be unguarded now. Somewhere around here. Yeah, the exit's unguarded. This poor fucker. Doctor, is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. Mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from myself. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the most crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. 
In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. <laughs> What's going on on this island? I'm not they showed him Sonichi fan I'm art. So sorry. That we should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you. Don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it. That's how it finds you. What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor. The Shambler. Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. No! Sanders! Perhaps. Perhaps, like that one. They're always the culprit. <coughs> what if that's the big twist, is that I've just been inhaling psychotropic gas? Damn! <coughs> the gas! Too many braps. Oh, too oh. many braps. My head. Later. We need to move on. What, him again? Hawkins Mansion. How do we get back here? This is a good place to quit, though. It's a whole new section of the game, and I don't leave... You never want to quit frustrated. It's like not going to sleep angry. there twas all a dream that wait a minute nightmare again. I need a drink. all of that was a dream when I was still in the mansion how much of this is a dream what am I gonna wake up and I'm gonna be back in the asylum am I gonna I got my suspicions about this about the plot this is a superb game, though. I'm really glad I decided to start playing tonight. It is quitting time, however, sadly. You bet your ass I'll be returning to this, though. And I'll be doing that on... Friday. Same ham time, same ham channel. That's 7 o'clock West Coast time to 11 o'clock PM. This is Ham Dad signing off and returning you to your regularly scheduled sleepy time.